Hi YouTube, it's Patriot Gal Prepper here. Hey, today we're going to talk about uh, how to freeze uh, salmon, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how I can the salmon as well. I uh, kind of subscribe to a modern survivalist um, uh, mindset, uh, and I, I picked up this concept from, from Jack over at the uh, Survival Podcast, but uh, I'm all about doing things in case the power goes out, but while the power's still here, I'm going to use my freezer as well. So uh, this is some local salmon that we caught at one of the local reservoirs here. It's called kokanee salmon. Basically, it's the same as a sockeye salmon that you would catch. Uh, the the di only difference is these are freshwater salmon uh, that have somehow become landlocked. And uh, I do believe they plant those in, in the reservoir up there, there, but they are native to that uh, reservoir as well. So the way we prepare these salmon is we just fillet the sides off of them and uh, let me just get up close here and then what we do is we we just take a fillet knife and we just bone out these ribs. So these are not the rib bones. The rib bones are gone. That's just what's left after the rib bones have been boned out. So the only place that has any bones on these fillets is right here. You can see these little bones that that poke up here. Now the other thing that we do is we leave the skin on because when you grill this salmon, uh, you grill it at, uh, on a, a low grill for about 10 minutes and you can take a spatula or a pancake turner wherever you're from and uh, you can just slide that salmon right off the skin. The skin stays uh, hooked to the foil and um, you just it just slides off so slick. So what we try to do is when we're, we we try to divide our salmon up half in canning and half in freezing. This year we didn't get as much as we normally do. My husband had some health issues and we weren't able to get out as much as we normally do. So this year I'm just going to be freezing it all because I have quite a bit of it canned. But normally what we would do is these bones, you can see they end about right here. You can't see any more bones past this. So normally what we will do is we will cut this fillet across like that. We will freeze this portion for grilling because it's boneless. And we will chunk up and can this portion because it has the bones in it. And the pressure canning process makes those bones so soft uh, that you, I mean, they just crumble. You, you don't even know they're there. And it adds a good source of calcium to your diet. But we are just going to freeze these today. Now what I do do is I use a vacuum sealer to freeze these. As far as I'm concerned, it is the only way to freeze fish long term and avoid any freezer burn. It just takes all the guesswork out of it. Now, uh, these food savers, um, you know, you can buy them in the store brand new. But what I found is that you can often find them on eBay uh, used and uh, you want to make sure if you're going to buy one make sure you get one that has this port um, in it and, and I'll, I'll show you another video about that but that makes it so that you can take and seal dry can your dried foods in your canning jars and you can actually use your old canning lids that are used and it sucks all the air out and then you can um, it'll just seal that lid on there for you now this is only for dried food that is not for canning food but like your dried vegetables your rice and uh, beans and things like things like that um, so anyway the way we go about this salmon I've gone ahead and made a bag here you go ahead and put the white part of the salmon down in the bag and then what we have found is these little bones that I talked to you about earlier, these little bones are relatively sharp. And when the vacuum sealer pulls the bag down around this fish, it pulls it so tight that often these bones will poke through the plastic and that ruins the integrity of your, your vacuum and then you can get freezer burn. So a little trick that we've uh, learned how to do is we just take a paper towel and uh, we just cut a strip out of a paper towel and then we double that strip over and I'm going to try to try to do this with one hand and hold the camera uh, but we double that over and then we just slide that inside the bag 
put it over top of those little those little pokey bones get it positioned just right and then go ahead and uh, vacuum seal the bag now on mine you're gonna you want to push this moist setting here and uh, that creates a little bit more vacuum and it it uh, turns the sealer on for a greater amount of time to to evaporate any liquid that might be on the sealing bar but when you get done this is what it looks like so the paper towel has a dual purpose it keeps the bones from poking through and it also acts as a soaker and it soaks up some of that uh, slimy slimy juice stuff that might get up here and affect the integrity of your seal so that's how we do it we go ahead and label those and put them in the freezer and try to keep them rotated and we use the canned salmon as well and I, I have taken this salmon out as long as the seal's been good uh, two years later and put it on the grill and it is just wonderful um, I use a dry rub that I make myself and maybe sometime I can um, give you the recipe for that and um, and maybe you can give that a try and see how you like it but that's how we process the salmon and uh hope that's helpful to, helpful to you and this will work for any fish we do the lake trout uh, the same way in fact we do all our trout uh, this exact same way and um, anyway that's what we do so hope that helps you and hope you're having a great time prepping and uh, keep on keep on doing it your your prepping works just seems like it's never done it's a it's a process so enjoy the journey and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. Or uh, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe and, and share my channel. And um, I've got a lot of different topics that I can um, talk about. And if there's something specific that you'd like to see a, a, a video on or have me talk about, let me know what that might be. Have a great night.